Hey, beautiful people of the Most High God. So God wants me to speak about a few topics um, about being sexually undisciplined and how he punishes people um, not only for homosexual sex, but also for having too much sex and for the partners that you have sex with. I'm talking straight people, like the partners you choose to have sex with. All right, so there's a lot, and he wants me to read about Sodom and Gomorrah. And the great sin of Sodom and Gomorrah is basically that they were trying to, it was more than just homosexual sex that was happening in um, Sodom and Gomorrah. What happened? I'm going to read it. God wants you to know that it was gang raping that was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah. And a lot of people don't read that story well, but we're going to go through it. And he wants me to explain that in Sodom and Gomorrah, it was actually gang rape. That was the great sin that the men in the city were going around raping other men, turning them out, basically. So um, he wants you to know that he judges you for having too much sex, even if it's with your heterosexual partner, straight sex, homo and um, witchcraft, homosexuality having too much sex and being sexually undisciplined and sleeping with family members, someone's family members, is also pun is also sins punishable by death. And all in his eyes, all is wickedness. All of it is wickedness. So having sex with someone's family member, that's another um, a sin that's punishable by death to God. Witchcraft is a sin punishable by death. So there's even who you have sex with as a partner so in leviticus here in leviticus it says chapter 18 verse 7 you shall do my judgments and keep my ordinances to walk therein i am the lord your god you shall therefore keep my statues and my judgments which if a man do he shall live in them i am the lord none of you shall approach to any that is near to keen to him to uncover their nakedness that means none of you shall have sex with anybody that is related to them to uncover their nakedness i am the i am the lord the nakedness of thy father or the nakedness of thy mother thou shalt not uncover she is thy mother thou shalt not uncover her nakedness you're not supposed to sleep with your parents the nakedness of thy father's wife thou shalt not uncover the na it is thy father's nakedness. The nakedness of thy sister, the daughter of thy father, or the daughter of thy mother, whether she be born at home or whether she or born abroad, even their nakedness thou shalt not uncover. You're not supposed to sleep with anybody your sister slept with or anybody your brother slept with. The nakedness of thy son's daughter of or of thy daughter's daughter, even their nakedness thou shalt not uncover for theirs is their own nakedness so you're not supposed to sleep with people's your brothers and sisters exes you're not supposed to uncover their nakedness you understand that so and it goes on to keep going into family members so you're not supposed to uncover your family members husbands wives or go to anybody that your brother or your sister or your parents slept with it's just not something you're supposed to do all right so in Genesis, it says 18 and 20. And the Lord said, because the cry of Saddam and Gomorrah is great and because their sin is grievous. What was so grievous about the Sodom and Gomorrah sin? It wasn't just homosexual sin, homosexual um, sexual activity. It was that they were gang raping men, forcing them to be this. Amen. So this is what God explained to me. He revealed this to me actually earlier this week. And I was just really stunned because I just thought as well, like what most people think that it was just about the homosexuality. No, it was a grievous sin that they were gang raping men. It was a grievous sin in the sight of God. That's why he destroyed the city. And there, chapter, um, we're in Genesis chapter 19. And there came two angels to Saddam. At even, 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 and Lot sat in the gate of Saddam, and Lot, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face toward the ground, and he said, 
Behold now, my lord, turn in, I pray you, into your servant's house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet, and you shall rise up early and go your ways. And they said, Nay, but we will abide in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly, and they turned in unto him, and entered into his house, and he made them a feast, and they and did bake unleavened bread, and they did eat. But before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Saddam, compassed the house round, both old and young, all the people from every corner. Do you understand this? So let me read this again. This is what God let me know. Let me read this again. But before they lay down, the men of the city, the men of the city, even the men of Saddam, compassed the house round about, round both old and young they surrounded lot's house because they seen the two the two beautiful angels go in there and they said who are these beautiful men they wanted to gang rape the two angels but this is something that they were doing in saddam the the old and young men were grouped up together going around and gang raping men this is wasn't just about homosexual sex this was people gang raping that's what God wants you to know. This wasn't just, no, this wasn't just about people being homo. This was about how, what they were doing. That's why in Genesis it says, And the Lord said, because the cry of Saddam, people were crying in Saddam of what the people of Saddam were doing. Because the cry of Saddam and Gomorrah is great. And because their sin is grievous, that was grievous to God. People were crying because they were gang raping men. And that was the cry went into God's ears and it, the sin was very grievous to God. So he sent two angels there. And even when he sent two angels there, these men surrounded Lot's house to try to gang rape the angels. But it didn't go as such. It didn't go like that. All right, but before they lay down, the men of the city, even the men of Saddam, come past the house round, both old and young, all the people from every corner. And they called on to Lot and said unto him, Where are the men which came into thee this night? Bring them out unto us, that we may know them. And Lot went out the door unto them and shut the door after them. And said, I pray you, brethren, do not so wickedly. Why would Lot tell them that? I, Brethren, I pray you, do not so wickedly. They wanted to gang rape the angels. Behold now, I have two daughters which have not known man. Let me, I pray you, bring them out onto you. I'll bring them out onto you and do you to them as is good in your eyes. Only unto these men do nothing, for therefore came they under the shadow of my roof. Do you understand what happened here? God had to let me know what, un let me understand what happened here. I didn't understand, I didn't know that. And they said, Stand back. And they said again, This one fellow came into sojourney. And he will needs to be a judge. Now we will deal worse with thee than with them. And they pressed sore upon the man, even Lot, and came near to break the door. They were going so far as to break the door to get to the angels. And they smote the and the angels, what did the angels do? And they smote the men that were at the door of the house with blindness. The angels blind them, both small and great, so that they were wearied themselves to find the door. And then the angel said to Lot, And the men said unto Lot, Has thou here any besides these, son-in-law and thy sons and thy daughters, and whatsoever thou hast in thy city? Bring them out of this place, for we will destroy this place, because the cry of them is waxing great before the face of the Lord, and the Lord has sent us to destroy it. That is what happened. But God wants you to know with all these sins of death, sleeping with family members homosexual sex witchcraft what, what he he wants you to know your sexually di dis undisciplined ways have caused him to judge you certain ways in your life amos 4 and 11 i have overthrown some of you as sod as god 
overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, and you were as firebands plucked out of the burning, yet you have not returned on to me, says the Lord, to repent to him for the stuff that you did, because those are sins of death, but he wants you to repent to him. This is what he wants you to know. There is still a chance for you to repent to him, even though you committed those sins of death. And this is what he wants me to read, Isaiah 55 and 7. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. So God wants them to know if they committed witchcraft, if they slept with family members, if they did communal, you know, homosexual sex, let them return to God, and he will have mercy upon them. For he will abundantly pardon them. Why? And he wants me to read this. Why? For my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are my ways your ways, says the Lord. For as the heaven is higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven, and returns not hither, but waters the earth, and makes it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater on the next one too so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth it shall not return void but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing wherein I send it so God wants you to know just because you committed these acts his thoughts are not your thoughts and his ways are not your ways and he will abundantly pardon you for your crimes that you committed against him and the crimes of death, Isaiah 28 and 18, because those are all sins of death. And he says, and your covenant with death shall be disannual. It'll be null and void. And your agreement with hell shall not stand because when you commit those sins of death, right, Satan will make evil covenants against you and have a, a agreement against you in hell. So that's why God said, if you committed these sins of death, you can repent and your covenant with dead shall be redisanual and your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing skirt shall pass through, then you shall be trotted down by it. And he wants you to know that his thoughts are higher than your thoughts and his ways are higher than your ways to repent and that he will abundantly pardon you. Let me read that part again. He said, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return on to the Lord. Let him return on to the Lord and he will have mercy upon him. And to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. If you go in repentance, he will abundantly, he will have mercy on you and he will abundantly pardon you for your sin. And that's why he said his ways are higher than your ways. His thoughts are higher than your thoughts. And basically, yeah, he wants you to repent. Your covenant with death shall be disannulled, and your agreement with hell shall not stand. And he wants you to repent of your witchcrafts also, because that's a sin of death. And sleeping with family members, because that's a sin of death. So, but you all, you have to do this all with repentance. So you're not that guy, and you're not that girl when you go about sleeping with somebody's family member sleeping with all the sisters all the brothers all the cousins and the family members sleeping with nah you're not that girl and you're not that guy before god it's punishable by death so that's why you should repent when the only thing you're getting is a dab on the fist from people out there but the what you're getting from god is death so you're not getting no money from that you're not getting anything from that you're not it's not even people do get paid actually from Satan to do that. So let me not even say that because that would be untruthful. But I'm saying um, basically you're not getting anything but judgment from that. The judgment of death with not repenting for committing those sexual acts. So you get punishments from God from he's even having too much sex. And he wants you to also know that. So you had to repent for having too much sex. And who you have sex with, the partners you choose to have sex with, and just basically how you lived your sexual life. God judges people in many different ways how they live their sexual life. 
and you would have to fast and pray to know how God has judged you and why you go through certain things in your life because a lot of people are under punishment because they lived a sexually undisciplined life. So um, basically that's what he wanted to talk about. Um, I love you all. Please repent fast and um, take this up with God. Take care.